Hello guys. In this video, I'll show you how to enable API in Comfy UI and generate images using it. First, start up Comfy UI. Then, go to the Workflow tab, click Browse Template, and select a template. For this video, I'll be using the Flux Dev Model Workflow Template, but you can choose any template that fits your preference and PC configuration. If you don't have Comfy UI installed, or if you're getting CUDA errors, check out my tutorial on installing Comfy UI, and then follow along. If you can't run Comfy UI or these image models locally, or if your PC feels too slow while generating images, you can use cloud solutions to run Comfy UI and generate images there. If you want to learn how to do that, I've already made a tutorial. Check the link in the description and in the pinned comment. And if you'd like to see more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future videos. Now go to Settings and in Comfy section, Enable Dev Mode. Then go to Workflow and click Export API and select a path where the Workflow JSON should be exported. Now let's jump into VS Code and write a simple Python script to generate images using the Comfy UI API. This is how the workflow will look. Here, each and every node in the workflow is included. We should modify the prompt and other parameters, then send this JSON with the request to generate an image. Now let's create a new Python file and start writing the code to connect to Comfy UI and generate images. Now copy the workflow JSON and paste it here. We'll declare a few variables here for the prompt and other parameters, so it'll be easier to tweak them while running the script. If you're running Comfy UI locally, then this will be the base URL. But if you're running Comfy UI on a cloud server, replace this base URL with the public URL that points to your Comfy UI instance on that server. Now let's replace the values in the workflow with the variables we declared above. Now let's continue writing the rest of the code.
The responses from Comfy UI may not be instant, depending on the system configuration it's running on. So we'll write a function to check if the generation is completed or not. As long as the generation is not completed, we'll keep checking every two seconds until it's done. This function is to download the image after the generation is completed.
Now let's run this script and check if it works. After the request is sent, we can see the image generating is shown in the queue in Comfy UI. Great, the image is now generated and downloaded successfully. Let's check it out. Awesome, right? An AI image, generated locally, and completely free. And it doesn't stop there. You can also generate AI videos like this, plus use all the workflows available in Comfy UI's templates, or even create and run your own workflows. If you want the output image in a different size, simply modify the width and height variables in the script. And that's it for this video. Make sure to give this video a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. In the next video, I'll show you how to run the GPT-OSS large language model locally on your PC. Meanwhile, check out these videos next.